Now, what I like to do in making my ends, this is also going to be a corner. I take an old windmill leg. It's galvanized. And I split the end of it. I'm going to have to do something different with this. I don't want these ears sticking way out there like that. But I drill and put two lags in there. See if I can find a... This is what the lags look like. And put those in there. On the other end, I just put a 5 16 lag. Same thing as this one right here. I just screw that part way in the pole. All that has to do is let this angle iron rest on it. It will butt up against the post, the angle iron will, and it won't go any further. It may dig in an eighth of an inch or so, but that ain't going to go any further. Then I use some really heavy gauge wire. I put a staple in the bottom end. I put a little kink in the wire. I come around and I put a staple in the top. Now, when I put the braces on, the, you don't want to go too steep with the brace. Let me get back so you can see what I've done. If you go too steep, you will jack your post right out of the ground and you defeat the purpose of it. It's to keep the post from tipping in. So you, I think you will think that by going at a steeper angle, you'll have more leverage. That's true. And that leverage will jack your post right out of the ground. So don't do that. Anyhow, I take the heavy wire and I stick a staple in here. I do not bury the staple so the wire can move in there. I come around on the bottom and I bend the wire together and then I'm going to start twisting it and how I twist it I've got a big long craftsman screwdriver stick in the wire and just start twisting I'm gonna need both hands so I'm gonna to have to set the camera down to do this You don't have to twist this till it breaks. You just need to put tension on it. If you're too carried away, you're not going to get your screwdriver back. It's going to tighten up around the shank of the screwdriver. And that's going to be all she wrote for that screwdriver. So this one I'm going to twist the opposite direction. Those are tight. Things you think about while you're working. I've got a homemade tamper which Tractor Man 44 and it's about making it not buying it would probably be in love with this idea but it's just to use what you have and it works really good I've got a big um, commercial tamper that I bought but it won't fit in the hole this fits in the hole and it's heavy enough does a good job of packing but I was just thinking about when I was a kid there was a guy in a town not too far from us had uh, rolling through town, came up to a stop sign, and there had been a state trooper sitting there that had just released someone from whatever he'd stopped him for. And this guy was rolling into town, rolled through, right through the stop sign. The trooper lit him up, pulled him over, and he goes, didn't you see that stop sign? The guy goes, yeah, but I didn't see you. And then just use the post as leverage against this post and pull it around where it's somewhat tight. You have to be real, 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 real tight. I guess that's a word. And then we're going to cut it. Now this is hard to cut. 
you're going to want a good pair of fence pliers for this. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now, try and get that underneath. Take your fence pliers like this, use this hook end, grab onto it, and pull it underneath your wire, like, like so. Easier said than done. I heard a joke I'd like to share with YouTube. This one's about Joe Biden. Joe Biden goes into a bank and wants to make a withdrawal of a hundred bucks. He doesn't have his wallet. He walks up and talks to the teller and the teller said, I need, I need proof of ID. Do you have your ID on you? And he goes, no, I've, I've lost my wallet somewhere. And she goes, well, I need to verify who you are. And Joe Biden goes, I'm Joe Biden. I'm the president of the United States. And the teller goes, it doesn't matter. Bank policy dictates that we need to verify who you are. This is what Congress and our government um, regulated into place that we have to do. We have no choice in the matter. Even though I know very well who you are, I still have to verify it. And Joe Biden's going, oh, I, I, I don't know what else I can do. And she goes, well, if you can just verify some way who you are. For instance, let me give you an example. Tiger Woods came in a short while ago, and he had forgotten his ID. We needed to verify who he was. He goes, I have an idea. Runs back out to his car, brings in a golf club and a golf ball. And he says, the coffee cup over there on your on your desk or your your uh, co-worker's desk over there on the other side, I'm, I'm going to tee off and I'm going to hit the golf ball right into that coffee cup. So the teller just stands back and... Tiger Woods goes up, squares off with the golf ball, hits it, puts it right in the cup. She goes, very good. Joe Biden's going, wow, I, I, I don't know. I'm clueless. And she goes, would you like that $100 withdrawal in 20s or would you like it in smaller denominations? We have a 3,500 pound Ramsey winch on the front of the Kubota RTV 900. Yeah. And that's what I'm using to stretch the fence up with okay. today. Anyhow, this is what it looks like when it's stretched up. I have to staple it yet, and make sure that the fence goes to the ground so that the raccoons can't burrow under it and because of the barn sticking out here and the shape of the concrete as it comes out away from the building the bevel of it slope whatever you want to say I've set a post in the end braced it as well and then this one is a little offset but it'll work using all old material that we had around except for the wire the wire is the only thing that's new here well I'm going to finish the corner here, finish this side, do the corner, and then I'm going to make the gate. Be back Now I'm going to relieve the tension I've got on the fence on the end of it here. At least the tension on the winch. Then, I have to unhook my chain, and then I've got to take my homemade fence stretcher apart and I'll show you how that's done now I'm going to take my homemade fence stretcher apart here I put it together with four legs
They're just two pieces of forming material I've had. They've got concrete all over them and gravel. So they work good for this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the wire past here, put them back together the way I had them. I'm going to hook the winch to it and I'm going to back it up a little bit but I'm going to see if I can't pull at an angle because I've got a roller flare head here that should work and I don't have to go very far I just got to go to one post and we're going to tighten it up hopefully that'll do it fire up the winch There's the completed fence project. The only thing I have left to do is put a latch on the gate. So this is the fence. A raccoon, possum, squirrel, cat, about everything but bird proof. This is the gate. I found some old barn hinges that I put to use. My dad never threw anything away. And now it's coming in handy. I could put a couple more screws in it yet. I've had about enough for one day. I think I've got it pretty much where I wanted to end up today. There's the corner. And there's the west side. Up to the barn. Thanks to the Kubota L2501. The 520 John Deere in the background. And we really got a lot of good out of the RTV 900. Wow. This thing's been a big help. It's The whole back end is full of stuff right now. I've got to get it unloaded. Get the tools all put back where they belong. That winch really came in handy. So anyway, YouTube, thanks for watching. And we'll see you for the next one. And please remember, if you rest, you rust. I'm not rusting tonight. So, resting, I hope, not rusting. Thanks for watching, YouTube. And if you enjoyed this, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button, leave me a comment. Tell us where you're from. And yeah, we'd love to hear from you. So, thank you so much.